everyone, my name is Emma Carmen, and we are back with conversations with coaches for this week and the next following le- weeks. First up today, we have Kelsey Kyle from West Liberty University. Kyle made an immediate impact on the Hilltopper program after being hired as the school's second A in 2019. West Liberty was picked number two in the Mountain East Conference Coaches preseason poll. For this past season, Kelsey is a native of West Liberty, competed at Fairmont State for her collegiate career. During her time at Fairmont, she was a two-time NCATA Specialist of the Week, a first-time All-MEC Acrobatics and Tumbling Selection, and then was named the 2019 MEC Specialist of the Year. On the academic side of things, she was named President of Fairmont State Student Athlete Advisory Committee, which is SAC for many of you schools who know that. She was the director of the FSU Summer Day Camp, and she played a leading role in numerous community engagement events. Thank you so much, Kelsey, for joining us today. Hi, thank you so much for doing this and having me. Of course. So we're just going to start off just an introduction of your school, talking about where you guys are located and what division you compete in. Yeah, absolutely. So we are, like you said, West Liberty University. Um, We are located in West Liberty, West Virginia, which that itself is a super small town. Um, Some of the names that might stick out as the places closest to us um, in West Virginia were about 20 minutes from Wheeling. Um, which is one of the bigger areas around us. But I mean, we're like an hour from Pittsburgh, two hours from Columbus. So we're located in northern West Virginia, but definitely close to places in Pennsylvania, Ohio, and then in West Virginia as well. Um, and then we are Division Two and in the Mountain East Conference. Perfect. So throughout your time at Fairmont, I was telling everyone you spent your four years there. What did you learn in those four years that you hope to teach your athletes? Um, One of the biggest things I feel like I took away from being an athlete at Fairmont State is about how you can make a career in coaching after your time as an athlete is over. And that's something that five years ago, I had no idea was even a possibility. I went to college. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do afterwards. Um, I love being an athlete. I grew up as an athlete my entire life. And so it really, it honestly wasn't until my senior year that my coach at Fairmont, Christy, she started really talking to me. And that's when it kind of opened my eyes to realize that not only being an athlete impacts your life in that aspect, but you can turn it into an entire career. So. So for your team specifically, what are some of your athletic strengths that you've seen? Obviously this past season was a little shortened, but from what you've done with all of the girls. Yeah, so this past year was my first year here at West Lib, and it was the third year that the school has had the program itself, and so we're still building. So last year, we didn't even have a senior class, so we had juniors leading the way that came in their first year as the inaugural year of the program, Um, but we still had a young team, so now we're just super excited to be able to get ready for this upcoming season because it's, it's the first year that we have a full team. So we have freshmen, sophomore, juniors, and seniors. We have 40 girls on the team right now. And That's so awesome. we're just, we're excited to be able to have, you know, that full roster, um, have more girls, giving more girls and athletes on our team the opportunity to compete. Um, and yeah, we're just excited to get back out there. I mean, we felt like we had a good start to this past season. Um, The year before I came, whenever it was the first year of the Mountain East Conference Tournament, West Lib went ranked fourth, uh, which is kind of funny because the first round of the first ever Mountain East Conference Tournament, my team at Fairmont went against West Lib. (laughs) Um, So it's kind of funny, but um, we we were fourth that year, and then last year, preseason ranking, we were ranked second, so we were really excited about that jump just in the coaches' poll, but now we're we're just excited to be able to use our full roster, all of the athletes utilize all the talent we have, and hopefully be competitive in the conference and then in the nation. So what are some of your academic strengths at West Liberty that make you guys stand out from the other NCATA schools? Yeah, so one thing that I feel like a lot of people come to West Lib for is dental hygiene. And we have a lot of girls on the team that are dental hygiene majors. Um, other than that, we have a lot of girls in the team that are dental hygiene. We have speech pathology and audiology. We have a lot of like biologies and chemistries who are looking to go to med school from here. Um, we have psychologies. Uh, we have a lot of girls that do elementary ed and uh, business, different things like that. 
And so, uh, also a new one, we have Zoo Science, which we have a freshman coming into the team next year. He's planning on majoring in that. And I was told that we are one of four schools in the nation that has a Zoo Science program. Very cool. Um, and there's also a zoo nearby that like the, the students partner with. So if you're interested in something like that, we definitely have opportunities here, but. Perfect. So last but not least, what do you want to share to potential student athletes about your school and your program? Just if anyone's coming upon this video, whether it's on any sort of our social media, what are something you want to share to them? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I've only been here one year, but from the very beginning, I absolutely loved it. And I always like to start off and let people know that, you know, this is a smaller school and it is a small, there's a ton of positives, um, super safe. Um, it has like a hometown, uh, family feel to it. And if that's something that you're looking for, we definitely have that to offer here. Um, but with being in that small town, hometown feel, everyone at West Liberty just really prides the fact that they're from here or that they work here or that they are a student here. And so in any aspect of what you're doing, whether that be athletics, whether that be in the classroom or just, you know, like day to day life, everyone uh, just really is proud to be a part of the Hilltopper family and is very supportive of anything you might be doing. So that's kind of what you'd be stepping into if you decided to come here. Awesome. Thank you so much, Kelsey. And thank you to everyone for tuning into our first morning session of Conversations with Coaches. Up next later this afternoon at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'll be talking to Keenan Wan from the University of Oregon. Remember, I'm Emma Carmen, and we will be doing one to two live videos on Instagram every single day with coaches from around the NCATA. And if you can't tune in live, they will be on all of our social media at Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, so you can tune back to certain schools if you are interested. Thank you so much, Kelsey. Have a good day. Thank you.